at how to cut out furry plants like feather grass or pampas grass in Photoshop. You've probably been there. Your client asks for specific plants in a rendering, but all you can find are photos with messy, distracting backgrounds. In this video, I'll show you a clean and easy way to isolate those soft, wispy plants and turn them into high-quality PNGs, ready for your design. Let's get started. We'll begin with an easy one, a photo of a feather grass shrub on a dark background. Don't use the magic wand tool here. It struggles with selecting clean edges, especially on furry plants. It also tends to accidentally cut into darker areas of the plant. As you can see, the edges are pretty messy. All right, let's head over to the toolbar and choose the quick selection tool. Before I start clicking, I like to turn on the background layer, the one we want the plant to fit into, and place it underneath the plant image. Then, with the quick selection tool active, Go to the top menu and click Select and Mask. From there, hit Select Subject to let Photoshop do the initial work for you. But when we zoom in, you'll still notice some black background around the edges of the furry plant. So next, click Refine Hair from the top menu. And just like that, most of the black disappears. However, you might still see some dark patches between the blades of grass. No problem. Go to the side menu and select the second tool, the Refine Edge Brush. Adjust the brush size and gently brush over those black areas. Like magic, the background fades away, but the fine details of the grass stay intact. You might notice that some of the grass gets accidentally erased during the step. But don't worry, we'll bring those back in the next part. For now, Let's focus on cleaning up the background first. On the right side, you can switch between different view modes to check how cleanly the plant is cut out and how well it fits with the background. I like using the white view first. Here, I noticed a few areas that still weren't clean, so I went back in with the brush and refined those spots especially around the bottom grass area, which is always the trickiest to get right. Then I switched to the onion skin view to see how well the plant blends with the background. Now, if you scroll down in the Select and Mask panel, you'll see there are two refine modes. For furry plants like this, I recommend using Color Aware. If you choose Object Aware, it often leaves bits of the background behind, so switch back to Color Aware for cleaner results. Then scroll down a bit more to adjust the Shift Edge slider. This lets you fine-tune the selection, cutting a little more or a little less, depending on what you need. Once you're happy with it, set the output to New Layer with Layer Mask and click OK. Now you can see the feather grass fits nicely into the landscape design background. Just press Ctrl and T to scale and adjust it so it matches the right proportions within the scene. Now you'll notice the bottom of the plant doesn't look very natural. In this case, we're not going to use a selection tool because the base in the original image isn't clearly separated. Instead, we'll use a shrub-shaped brush and gently paint on the layer mask to blend it in and make it look more natural. You can download my grass brush set for free using the link below. Feel free to try it out in your own projects. I've selected one of the brush shapes and tested it on a blank layer. It looks like this. Now, instead of painting on a new layer, I'll apply the brush directly to the plant's layer mask to help shape and soften the bottom edge.
With a few final touches, we finished our first cutout of the feather grass. Now let's move on to another example to help you better understand the process. This one's a bit trickier. It has a full street view in the background, which is something we often run into in real life. Just like before, start by selecting the Quick Selection tool and clicking Select Subject to begin. Next, use the Refine Edge Brush to clean up any messy areas, especially around the fine details. As you brush over the edges, you'll see the blue sky background gets cleaned up nicely. Now switch to the on white view, and you'll notice the grass area still looks a bit messy. But no worries. Let's go ahead and save it as a new layer with a layer mask first, and we'll refine it further in the next step. Now go to the shrub layer, hold Alt or Option on Mac, and click on the mask thumbnail to enter the mask view. Then select a soft edge brush, change the blend mode to overlay, and lower the brush's flow or opacity. Gently brush along the edges of the shrub to refine the transition and blend it in more naturally. Oh, also make sure your brush color is set to black. With a few fine touches, the edges look much cleaner than before. Now click back on the main layer to exit the mask view and check how it looks in the full image. I use the grass brush one more time to refine the edges and make everything blend better. Lastly, I want to show you another common case, when the shrub is part of the background in a JPG image. In this case, the Magic Wand tool and Quick Select tool alone don't give us a clean result. So instead, we'll use the Quick Selection tool again and click Refine Hair. Then, use the Refine Edge brush to gently brush over the center of the shrubs. Save it as a new layer with a layer mask. Now the shrub is nicely cut out without the white background and fits well into the landscape scene. But you might notice the edges of the feather grass shrub are a bit overcut. So once again, go into the layer mask. Use a soft black brush and lightly paint to bring back those fine grass details. And then test it out to see if it fits naturally with the landscape background. Make any final adjustments if needed to blend it in smoothly. And that's it. Now you know how to cut out furry plants like feather grass and shrubs, even from tricky backgrounds and blend them seamlessly into your landscape designs. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the free resources linked below, like my custom grass brush set. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.